Okay, the last race of the week, race 38, is a four-mile handicap. Um, the Grey and Sanderman chase for three horses. Number one is Jartwala, Macalette, Doug Warren. Two is Obligado, Tam King. And three is Latterly Pepper for Darren House. Seriously, three horses over four miles. Um, I might uh, play some gentle music in the background. They're into the first, and uh, they're all still on their feet. So it's Juwala Maclet, Obligato, and Latterly Pepper. Just three of them to go around four miles. 28 fences. So they go past the uh, grandstand here for probably the first of five times. And uh, I have no idea what to talk about. So it's Obligato from Juwala Maclet and Latterly Pepper. So it's Tam King. Doug Warren and Darren Howes. I'm going to pick up some prize money here. Assuming they all stay on their feet and no one gets pulled up. It'll be funny to see what happens at the end of this one. I didn't have anyone in this. I missed this race. The Grey and uh, Sandyman Chase. I'll see Tim Sandyman, our South African commentator, that's not been with us for a little while. He's got a lot more exciting things to do. He's got himself a girlfriend. And you know what that means. Everything else gets pushed to the side. No, good luck to him. Well done, Tim. Especially if you're listening to this one. You can see who's going to win our cup. Unfortunately, I didn't have a four-miler under 90. So I couldn't get one in here. But we're led by Obligato into the fourth. We will skip over that. Who's going to take the grey and sand man, sandy man chase? Who knows? We've got a long way to wait. Roughly another eight or nine minutes. So it's Obligato from Jawala Macalette and Latterly Pepper. He's one, two, and three. I'm going to have a drink. Which was very nice. It is just coffee. We get to the fifth. And all over it. And Obligato for Tan King's got about a six length advantage over the remaining two. No, long way to go. And the rain coming down here. I think this is a bit like the football. Ten minutes from the end, everybody's going to leave through the trees, get to this nice ditch. The lead is over it, as are the remaining two. This should be a, a nice little easy win here for one of you. Numbers on the board. It's quite a varied season so far. winner. A couple of the new people haven't. Uh, Kalatha T, Dan Hughes. We're all very close. It's a shame we didn't have a four miler to go in this. So, uh, this looks like a, a real open possibility to, to win this. And I have to say, I'm surprised Tan King's got a horse under 90. Um, he needs stables because he's proved he's had some uh, Fantastic courses this year. And he's really put a dent in a few of the uh, a few of the leading trainers' uh, <coughs> um, numbers. I think they weren't all expecting Tam to pick up a few wins that they may well have thought they could get. Rhodes has had a good week this week. And obviously now looking to possibly be the the favourite for the championship. Obviously uh, the pull-up kit amongst other things the AI all just picks on Josh <laughs> we all go through the same problems some of my horses look like fantastic at home they come to the starters orders league and uh, all sorts of uh, shenanigans go on with them but it's obligato from Jawala Macalet latterly pepper it's four lengths between the three Still another 15 fences to jump. Get over that. A little bit slow by Latterly Pepper. Although you don't really need a commentary on this one. You can see the three of them. I'm going to sit back and be quiet for a little while. Did anybody pick that surefire winner? Grand National last weekend. Hope you did. Tiger Roll at four to one. It was, uh, I think, a bit of a, a shoo-in. I think a lot 
where people just thought because uh, nobody wins two in a row. It wasn't even shorter. Actually, it's a pretty impressive horse. Rather speak, talk about it not going back for a Grand National next year. But I think they will. The Irish would love to uh, beat Red Rum's record. Have three wins in a row. We'll see. We're riding on board Latterly Pepper now. Then we're going to go on Jawala Macalette as we approach the 17th. The lead is over it. Oh, you can't even see the other side from these big fences here at Cottingham. And now we're on Obligato. Oh, gets over that one. It's a good jump. And still another 10 fences and a mile and a half to go. Now we're back on Latterly Pepper, who's in third. You can see the rear of Jawala Macalette. There's Obligato downhill to the next fence, the 19th, which will be the last next time round, into the wings and he's over it, so it's Latterly Pepper, oh, we can put it on a little bit there, try and catch back up, so we're back to the main view from the stands, and it's Obligato from Joala, and Latterly Pepper is third, past the winning post, for the last time, circuit to go, Eight fences, Obligato leads from Jawala Macalette and Latterly Pepper. It's the 20th, they're over it. It's the 21st, they're up and over. It's a 1, 2, 3. Obligato, Jawala Macalette and Latterly Pepper. Obviously, Tam, you will have to take some stick, obviously, if you've dropped down into a 0 to 90 and win this easily, as all other top trainers do. I wouldn't like to just pick on you, but I pick on, obviously, Mr. Rhodes and Josh and Jim. John, not so much, but uh, if you drop down into a, what us little handicapper trainers think is one of our races, we all get very upset. No. Oh, and Latterly Pepper went through the top of that. We might lose Latterly Pepper here inside the final six furlongs. And he's not in shot anymore. He's still on his feet. So it's the two greys that lead us, Obligato and Jawala Macalette. And they've probably got an eight, nine length of advantage from Latterly Pepper now. He's got a bit to do. He's been pushed along to try and catch back up. As they approach five furlongs from home, just over half a mile to travel. It's Obligato and Jawala Macalette that go to the 23rd together. Jawala Macalette just pecked on landing a little bit there, but being pushed along. Takes them into the 24th. Five fences to go. It's Jawala Macalette and Obligato. These two are going to make a race of it now. Latterly Pepper's probably not going to get into it from there. They're inside the four. They're both off the bridle now. They've got this ditch. They're both over it. Great shakes, but it's Jawala Macalette from Obligato. They take this right turn. Obligato's got the inside bend and just pulls a neck in front. They get to this, the 26. There'll be two to jump. Oh, it's a poor jump by Obligato. Jawala Macalette didn't get over it any better and didn't really take up the advantage. Latterly Pepper's running on still well here. As they get over the 27th, they've only got one fence to jump now and two furlongs to travel. So it's a bit of a race on the flat. There's the grandstand. There's the winning post in the distance. And it's Obligato from Jawala Macalette. Latterly Pepper. Pepper probably hasn't got anything left. This sharp right turn down to the last. It's Obligato and Jawala Macalet. Obligato gets into it first, but went through it poorly. A slow jump by Jawala Macalet. But here comes Latterly Pepper still. Inside the final furlong. It's going to be between these three. Obligato, Jawala Macalet. Latterly Pepper's running on. Obligato now inside the final half. It's Obligato. Here comes Latterly Pepper. Latterly Pepper, Obligato. Obligato, Latterly Pepper. Oblig Obligato from Latterly Pepper. Just hung on. Very similar finish to the last race. Obligato takes it for Tam King. Nips down into a hunter chase and steals it. Group one winning trainer. <laughs> well done. Second was uh, Darren Houses. Latterly Pepper never looked like he was going to get anywhere near that. And poor old Doug's Jawala Macalette just finished third. A couple of lengths behind. So well done there. And uh, we'll see you all next week.